Hey everybody, Frank back here with you again, and it is finally the end of the week. It is Friday. Got hopefully just a half a day of work left for many of you. And today's flavor of the day to wrap up the first week is VSO Lemon. So you get to see that VSO Lemon. This flavor I received courtesy of Swaggy Shane at VSO Flavors, Vaping Swag Originals. You can go check them out over there. Can't leave any links, unfortunately, but if you do the little Google machine, you'll find, find this flavor. This flavor is... It's not as strong of a lemon and, and not as artificial as many others. This is naturally extracted. You get a bright lemon not very sweet you get more of that zest that peel and like the you know the white part in between the actual fruit and the lemon peel itself you get a lot of that so this is a real nice bakery you know lemon that can be used in bakeries and if you're just looking for a little bit of lemon zest and you can also add it in like lemonades and other lemony drinks now let's quit yapping about it Let's go and see what has been said about it on ELR. Let's go. Alrighty, gang, here's VSO Lemon. Average mixing quantity is medium is 1%. Single flavor, three and a half, which I wouldn't use it personally as a single flavor. To newer flavors, there's not a lot of notes. Here's one here. At 2%, decent amount of flavor, some zest. Uh, this person used some sweetener with it, which is whatever, you know, to each their own as far as when they're testing. Uh, 4% tangy lemon with some peel notes, including the soft white peel backing that we talked about. And 6%, it's more of the peel. It's, yeah, it's not best standalone lemon, which we already talked about. Common uses, commonly used with sweetener, VSO strawberry, blueberry, VSO sweet, sour, strawberry cheesecake. Red raspberry, huckleberry, black currant, and vanilla ice cream. Here's some of the uh, these are the highest rated recipes. Not too many because it's a newer flavor. Let's see tam with swaggy tart. This is a kiwi strawberry lemon tart. She used it at a quarter of a percent to boost up the. The kiwi and with the strawberries and just to blend everything together she used shortbread cookie in there for a little bit more of that that bakery note and they go with the strawberry cheesecake and the crumble topping so she did a real nice job with it there and we have oh, where'd it go all right here we go lemon cream cookie from karen here she used it at one percent with lemon custard from wonder flavors and lemonade cookie from tfa with some powdered sugar and some more cookie He's about a week steep on that one. Uh, Big B used it. Blueberry lemonade. Blueberry from VSO. Blueberry jam from Mullenberry. VSO's kiwi. VSO lemon at 1.2. And he used polar blast to give it more of a you know, cooling note. So it's a good looking mix there. Tommy V. Our boy Tommy V used it. You know, lemon meringue pie, he used the graham cracker pie crust at 1.3. Italian lemon Sicily from Capella at 1.4. He used VSO's lemon at 0.8. FA meringue at 1. VSO sweet at 0.1. And vanilla whipped cream from Cap at 1.9. They give it about a week steep. And that's about where I would give that with the vanilla whipped cream in there. Let's see who else we got here. Lemon custard donut from Karen. I like what she did here. This one I may actually mix up. Crispy wafer at 0.5 from Wonder Flavors. Uh, Wonder Flavors croissant at 1.4. Fluffy white cake at 1.5. Glazed donut 2.75. She used a lemon at 1. Lemon cream wafer. Kim Nevada 2.5. And lemon custard from Wonder Flavors at 2. Let's see who else we got here. Uh... Here's one with some booze in it, Mandalorian, Juniper Gin at 1.5, Kiwi at 1.75, use a lemon at 0.75, and VSO Strawberry at 
pretty nice. Give it a few days and it's, it should be good to go. And Larry, he likes his boozy vapes. Vaping Trucker used it. And Burgundy Pears. Brute Bubble Wine at 1.25. VSO Lemon at 1. Orange Marmalade at 1. VSO Pear at 5.5. Shape Up Pear. Of course, now stuff's got to go off because I didn't mute it at 5.5. Oh, right, 0.75. Uh, sweetener at a half and vanilla cream extra at one. I like what Mike did with that one. McMod RN, our good friend Mary Beth. She used cooling at one. Juicy orange at 3.5. She used a lemon at one. Nectar peach at two and a half. Passion fruit at two. VSO peach at four. Some sweetener and some white grape at two. Good looking Five Alive remix there. Uh, Fresh 03, last year on Adam's birthday. He used it. He used Angel Cake at a half. He used Apricot VSO at 0.4. Cream Filling at 0. 0.5. Fluffy White Cake 1.5. VSO Lemon at 0.5. Lemon Meringue Pie from Capella at 2.5. Juicy Strawberry at 0. 0.8 from Wonder Flavors. VSO Strawberry 1.4. And Strawberry Cheesecake at 1. Very nice looking mix there. So you see, most of the time you're going to use it between a half and one percent. Let's see, Mandalorian used it a bunch more times. Let's see our boy Bubba, he used it here in Dad's Tart. Uh, black currant from VSO at one, blackberry at two and a quarter, flavor cream at one, crumble topping at two, custard premium at two. VSO lemon at 0.75, lemon cream wafer 2.5, and, and 0.6 out of Wonder Flavor Stevia 15%. Nice sweet mix there, 6 milligram Nick. He probably made this for his dad when he's, when he looks. That's another good looking mix. So see, there's a lot of different ways you can use this. Aussie Shano, fresh from the kitchen. And the blueberry donut used it at a half a percent. With some bakeries and some cinnamon sugar and some other fruits. So it plays well with a lot of different flavors. TJ used it. Let's see what TJ did here on his Wednesday night show. He used Bavarian cream at four. VX Bavarian cream. Uh, used a lemon at 1.5 with some huckleberry and some lemon cream wafer and marshmallow vanilla. Nice looking mix there. And not much else to talk about there. Let's go back up top. And we're back. I said VSO Lemon. Another good quality lemon. I think it's a good flavor to wrap up the week with. If you want to make a lemonade this weekend, you can throw it in there. If you're going to make something boozy, maybe a lemon drop or just something to add a little bit of a citrus note to another boozy drink. Something like a white liquor, you know, like a like a gin or a vodka. Maybe some some like cranberry vodka. Maybe throw this in there, brighten up that cranberry. Uh, excellent flavor. All right, this one's gonna come out a little bit shorter. Thank goodness. End of the week. All right, gang. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have, thank you. If not, please do. We're getting closer to a thousand every day. I'd like to get that thousand that thousand mark. And continue to give you the best content I can provide. Alrighty, gang. We'll see most of you. Hopefully, we'll see most of you tomorrow, tomorrow evening, 9 p.m. Eastern, on Mixing After Dark. And we will see you then. Make sure you be safe, wash your hands, don't talk to strangers. And we'll see you tomorrow night. Bye, everybody. <laughs>